Hello and welcome back to another guide brought to you by Game Glitches. Right now, about literally a few minutes ago, as you could see, about 11 minutes ago, a new patch for the forest hit, 0.14. And there are a lot of fixes rather than new additions, and we're gonna take a quick look at them. If you wanna see the full patch notes, they're gonna be in the description, or you could check them out on the forest site. I'm gonna be just basically only demonstrating that they have, well, input in visually that I can will find. So, without any further ado, now, let's take a look at a brand new things that they have added. The weapon rack, the medicine cabin, explosive holder, and a snack holder, which were constructed by me and my friend Coolio and Lauders, who helped me out uh, earlier with building all four of them. As you can see here, this is a weapon holder. When you approach it and click C, your weapon automatically goes on it. So you could now put multiple weapons on it. The other which you would have is a cabin, a medicine cabinet. When you approach it and click C, you basically put the medicine on it from your inventory. Now we have a bomb holder, which currently doesn't seem a Molotov holder, which currently doesn't seem like it works. As you can see here, I have a Molotov, but I am unfortunately cannot seem to put it down onto the holder. Right here. We have ourselves a food holder. Here you could store your cans of food as you can see right there by just simply clicking C. And as you could see, one appears right over here, right away. And you basically could now create little kitchen, furniture, warehouse or storage house for your area. Also the feature that they mentioned when you're trying to build by holding R. Now you can properly rotate items before you will place them down. There you go. Now, they've also added uh, several things to uh, single player. For in single player, they have added a new building type, a climbing rope. Needs to be hooked to a single structure anchor, minimum distance with the floor required. So let's quickly take a look at the new anchor that they added. One of the major bugs that I found in the forest that still has not been fixed is that when you're trying to cook multiple things in the fire, they all will finish cooking, but there is no way of putting them into your inventory, and if you're leaving them on the fire long enough, they just, well, simply disappear. It seems that they have now also added, being too hot in the sun, my character started taking damage once it got a little way too hot. As you can see, everything is now brighter. I didn't see this really being described in the patch notes, but all of a sudden I heard a frying sound and I started taking a tons of damage. Thank God I had full armored completely through my entire armor. If that feature was added before and I just never noticed it, I apologize. But this is the first time I ever experienced actually being too hot in this game and started taking damage from, well, overheating. Another nice little feature that I haven't reviewed in any of my previous videos, and I'm not quite sure when they've edited this, is the fact that you can now carry corpse around. As you can see, there is my shadow, and I can now, like, hide the corpse and shit so it doesn't attract anymore. In the patch they also explain that you can now attach the tree bridges and build the bridges between your gazebo and anything else. Also here one of our beloved friends. Oh eating something I don't give a fuck. Alright so. We have our gazebo here. And then we can stretch out our bridge all the way to where we want it. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like I want to stick to this. Huh. But I guess you could put it between gazebos. Well, you get the idea. Unfortunately, you can't to put it down. 
I guess you could only put it between objects. The way you know that you could attach a bridge or an anchor rope to it is when you select, for example, a bridge, you could see these anchor little signs on it. And then all you do is you click on one anchor sign, lead it to the next, and there you go. It automatically connects them together. And all you have to do now is, well, attach the wooden logs and finish constructing the staircase. Let's say you don't want to build a bridge, let's say you want to build a rope, let's say you don't want to jump from one point to another. So what you have to do is go to your book and under right after custom buildings you will have climbing rope. And again, you attach the climbing rope to one of the anchors. And then it attaches and then you have to have one rope in your inventory and then you can definitely climb. There we go. And of course now you could also continue your construction. You know, you could try to make it between your bases and jump. Also, it seems now when you reload a saved game, all of the crates respawn, all the luggage. And as you can see here, here's my base. This is the same luggage from the previous uh, save, but it's now all completely respawned with a fresh new loot. So you could technically never have to leave the area, just reload the game and boom, all of the loot respawns once again and you could start surviving really quickly without needing to go out into the nature to hunt or gather. Also it seems that after you save the game, the tree that your treehouse was built on, well decides to, well, magically vanish altogether. I did not chop this tree down, all I did was basically reload the game for demonstration sake purposes to check out what respawns on the floor, you know, to see what's going on and as you could see here, well, the base is completely gone and it's like well floating house they've also it seems have added into the game custom floors you can place the custom floor on anything well aside inside of buildings for example like that Still a little difficult to place. There we go, it snaps on kind of weird from the bottom. And then you can stretch it. Well, you get the idea, I'm just still having, whoa. In any case, this sky feature is still in uh, being tested out. That's why it's also only available in single player. Uh, it definitely seems a little buggy. And I'm pretty sure they'll fix it in the future. Huh, oh well. Well, thank you all for tuning in to another episode brought to you by Game Glitches on the Forest Patch 0.13. Uh, as we have taken a look at the many different things and changes that they have implemented in the game, including, well, several of these bugs that I'm currently experiencing. Uh, please click like, please click subscribe, please check out my now twitch.tv channel. Uh, the links all should be included in the description below. I want to again thank Coolio and Lotters uh, for helping me out with uh, showing off all the f four things that you can now build in the game like the cabinets and you know all the storage d devices that I, they have implemented again please click like please click subscribe and please check out my other videos on the forest